Leon, Mexico is the bootmaking capital of the world. Many notable brands make their boots there, including Tecovis, Thursday Boots, Wilcox, and even some Lucases. Today's focus is no exception, Rhodes footwear. We'll be looking today at the Rhodes Jackson Chelsea boot to see if it can hang with the competition. I'm Patrick, and this is Rocky Mountain Style. Before we get started into the review, I do want to mention that these boots were sent to me by Huckberry. Rhodes is an in-house brand of Huckberry, so I just wanted to get that out there up front. However, I'm under no obligation to give a positive review about these boots, so everything you hear will be my honest and unfiltered opinion. If you are interested in these boots, there will be a link in the description below that you can use to check them out. If you end up buying something, it helps me, helps the channel, and any revenue I do generate will go right back into the channel in the way of giveaways more products to review, or upgraded gear to make all these videos better for you guys. So thanks a lot for your support. Okay, let's get on to Rhodes Footwear and talk a little bit about the brand. Rhodes was started by Huckberry. It wasn't acquired by Huckberry. It was a new brand that they created so that they could offer quality, handmade, Goodyear welted boots at an affordable price next to some of their other high-quality in-house brands like Flint and & Tender and Proof. Rhodes offers many styles of boots, such as the Roper boot, which I think is pretty cool. I've had, only had one Western boot in my life, and that was a Tony Llama boot back when I was 18 and I moved to Texas. So I'm thinking of picking up some of these Roper boots to try out with the wedge sole. They also make the Portland boot in this nice olive color, which is also pretty interesting. They kind of look like the Thursday Captains, I feel, in the dark olive waxed suede. So those are some nice boots as well. But yeah, they have a wide range of different types of boots and products. Uh, so pretty interesting brand, I'd say. It's obvious just by looking at the Jackson Chelsea boot that it is an outdoor-focused boot. Uh, you can see that with the waterproof, yeah, more water-resistant leather, right? And anything, if you soak it long enough, it's going to have water get through. But the uh, water-resistant leather and the uh, Vibram 430 mini lug outsoles, um, as well as just the overall construction of it with the heel stack, uh, it gives it a nice rugged appearance. Uh, in addition, uh, believe it or not, this is actually my first Chelsea boot I've ever owned. I have tried on a few pairs in the past. I always ended up returning them due to perceived issues with heel slip. I was always told, hey, just, just break them in and it'll be fine. The heel will stop slipping. But for me, it was kind of a lot to risk money on something that I wasn't sure if it was actually going to, you know, stop slipping up on me. So uh, with these, though, thankfully, those fears were allayed. I finally decided to, to you know, get a pair and, and keep them uh, without needing to return them. So in 10 and a half D, which is the size I got, they fit pretty much perfectly when I put them on. Um, they're a little snug going on, which is what you want. They're a little snug also right here on the edges of your foot. Uh, but as these broke in, uh, they stretched exactly like they should have. So now they kind of fit like a glove. And now that the sole is uh, broken in, they no longer slip up on my heel as long as I'm wearing the properly sized socks. So all in all, I think that's a, a fantastic thing. And the fit of these is pretty good. So I would definitely say if you're new to the Chelsea game or if you're wary about foot slip or heel slip rather like I was, um, you know, you just eventually you're just going to have to give it a try. If you want to get into a Chelsea boot and break them in and, and see how it goes for you. That's what I did here, and it definitely worked for me. Okay, what are some things that I like about this boot? Uh, one, I like the concept. Chelsea's are always kind of an interesting boot because when you are wearing one with a normal type of leather and, you know, usually dressed up, maybe not too rugged of a heel, they're, they're way too dressy, I think, for most situations, at least in my mind. Um, and even at a glance, they kind of just end up looking like dress shoes in a way. Um, so not everyone's cup of tea. So I'm a big fan of these given just their rugged looks. Uh, you know, just in a pair of jeans sometimes from top down, they kind of look more like Western boots than, than Chelsea boots. Of course, from the side, when you can see the elastic goring, that's the, that's the big giveaway. But um, So that's the first thing I like. The next thing I like 
is the double pull tabs, which in pictures, I think it kind of makes the boot look a little bit wonky, but in practice, um, huge fan. It's, it's hard and sort of fiddly to have to, you know, grip onto the thin sidewalls here to pull a boot on. So having a pull tab on both sides has actually been, been pretty good. And if I buy any more Chelsea boots in the future, I'll definitely probably look for that as, a, as one of my features. And then um, the third thing I like about these is the leather itself. So this leather is from the Lafarc Tannery in Mexico. Uh, from my quick research I did, it seems that that's, you know, more or less right down the street from the place where they make all these boots. A lot of other companies source leather from Lafarc Tannery. Um, they have a whole bunch of stuff on their website about being sustainable and, you know, as good for the environment as they can be, um, you know, debatable given they do a lot of chrome tanning. Uh, but you know, I guess doing as best as you can is, is a good thing, uh, rather than just, you know, giving up at all. Right. But, um, yeah, the, the leather is interesting. So it's, it's obviously a very heavily corrected grain leather. Um, so, you know, with just the smoothness of it, you can tell that it's been heavily sanded, um, and, and tanned, it's chrome tanned, of course. And then there's a, a waterproofing or water resistant coating applied to the leather itself. But uh, real big fan of the pattern on it. It kind of looks like a modeled, um, model's not the right word, uh, like the sort of the brindle coat that you see on some pit bulls or dogs like that. Um, and it really looks the business in person. Uh, huge fan of it. Um, as you've seen in the B-roll that I've rolled already, uh, the, the waterproofing seems pretty good. You know, I wouldn't go standing in a stream with them, but I mean, if you're doing that, I mean, probably not wearing Chelsea boots anyways. Right. So, uh, yeah, pretty big fan of the leather. So I think that's, uh, definitely a plus for this boot. And, uh, what don't I like, or I guess not, not necessarily what don't I like, but what would I change? So these boots come with a rubber midsole and on the website, it basically says that's for comfort. However, they, they feel just as stiff to me as, as any boot that's made with full veg tan insoles, uh, midsoles, all that stuff, you know, full leather heel stacks. Um, and with a rubber midsole, you're not going to get that, that exact breaking in in your foot like you would with full vegetable. So for an extra, I don't know, five, eight bucks, whatever it would cost to have a full leather midsole, I think I would go for that. You know, MSRP on these is 250. I'd happily pay 260 to have a uh, you know, leather midsole. So, so that's one thing I would change, uh, you know, Rhodes Huckberry, if you're listening, perhaps consider that for, for version two in the future for these boots. All right, let's talk about the competition for these boots. So I think since I've mentioned them a few times, it's pretty obvious the main competition for these boots, given their, their Mexican made and their price point is Thursday boots. Thursday has three separate kinds of Chelsea boots. I think the ones that most close, closely compete with these would be the, uh, the Thursday Legend, which is the ones with the uh, more rugged outsole. I think it's Thursday Storm King outsole. Uh, those, of course, go for $199, like most Thursday men's boots. Then also there's one other close competition, I think, uh, the Taylor Stitch Ranch Boot, uh, offered by Taylor Stitch. Those are quite a bit pricier at $348. But again, I put them on the list because they're another boot made in Mexico, made in Leon, Mexico. Uh, by a, a primarily clothing manufacturer that's, you know, doing a foray into boots. So not an exact match based on the style, but I still think that's a good comparison for, for the two. And so finally, in, in closing, I'd like, just like to talk about should you buy these boots? Why should you buy these boots? So if, if you're only a price conscious shopper and you're only worried about price, it's going to be hard to beat Thursday at full MSRP at $199 if these are at $250. Uh, however, and at the time of me shooting this video, this is the case, uh, these are actually half off on the website. I have no idea if that's because they're discontinuing them or maybe it's just, uh, you know, clearing out old stock and they're going to make some of those improvements, like maybe the leather midsole. But for $125, if they have these in your size, I think it would probably behoove you to go pick up a pair because they're, they're certainly significantly better than a $125 boot. Um, and if I didn't already have them and I saw that and I watched this video, I would more than likely go buy a pair. They do come in one other color, uh, Mojave Suede, I believe is what it's called, which looks pretty cool as well. But this uh, color called Soil uh, certainly would be, would be my top choice for sure. If you're looking for a first pair of Chelsea boots or something like that, uh, honestly, really think these are, these are pretty tough to beat. I'm a big fan of them. They've broken in well. They seem to be holding up well, and their their outdoorsy design and nature seems to be um, seems to be pretty truthful. 
So with that said, let me know what you think in the comments uh, about these boots or about Rhodes footwear. I know it's you know, perhaps the first time you've heard of them. There's not a lot of fanfare about them and not a ton of reviews that have been done online about Rhodes. But uh, yeah, I'd certainly like to hear what you have to say. So thanks a lot, guys. Have a nice day.